this is a reading for Taurus, which is my sun sign. So hello, Taurus gang, bull gang, right? So if you have Taurus sun, moon, rising, and or Venus in, in a major chart placement, this could be for you. If you don't have Taurus in your chart placement, this could still be for you. Um, maybe somebody that you're dealing with has it in their chart placement, or maybe spirits just thinks that this message pertains to your situation and put it on your homepage for you. So if it showed up on your homepage, or if you felt guided or drawn to this message, obviously this is a sign for you, but it is a general collective reading. So you still need to use your intuition to know if it's for you. This is also a timeless reading, which means it doesn't matter when I posted it or created it. It could be from a year ago, two years ago. When you saw it is when you were supposed to see it. Okay. What do we need to know? Ooh, this is a lot. Let's figure out what's coming in here. Okay. All right. Okay. So there's a news of a birth or new business opportunity. So you've got something new coming in your life. You're creating something new. You're birthing something new. You're probably manifesting this. But, and this has to do with, it says new home, new attitude. So your whole self is transforming, I feel like here. You're having a new attitude because your whole personality, everything is just transforming right now. This might be an actual new home or this might be a new home metaphorically, like a business opportunity, like a new career or something. So it's not necessarily a new physical house. Take it how it resonates for you. What do you feel in your gut? But there is a need when you go into this transition to beware of, it says here, beware of great pride. So don't get in your ego. Don't get a big head. I feel like this news of a birth or new business opportunity. I don't think it's a baby, honestly. It's, it's, I think it's a business opportunity and it's going to be metaphorically a new home. Um, maybe you are also moving to a new home, but you need to be careful of being in your ego. Um, it's okay to be proud of yourself and what you do, but just beware of great pride. Could be another person, but I think it's, they're trying to tell you don't get into like an ego. And if this is a spiritual opportunity, don't get into a spiritual ego. And um, what is this vacation, though, spirits? What is this vacation? Anything from this deck? Dolphin, financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. So this, this new business opportunity is going to bring you financial gain. And like I said, it might be that you have finances coming in and you get to get a new home and take a vacation. Maybe you're going to take a vacation. Look at that. We have a vacation and then we have a dolphin. So maybe you're taking a vacation to a beach when you get this new money. Maybe it allows you to take this vacation or you, you actually get a new home. But you're going to get financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. So we do have a new business opportunity coming, but I feel like it's going to be stemming from something you did in the past as well, if that makes sense. So it is a new opportunity, new business opportunity, but it's also attached to some kind of action that you've done in the past. So maybe you already have a business and it's a new opportunity for that business, but you, you know, work you've done in the past. You're getting it because it's karma. You're getting your karma. We have a change for the better is coming in here. You are transforming, like I said. You're going through a transformation. There's a change for a better. Maybe your business is transforming. All right, let me figure out what else. Let's get these Oracle cards here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to... No, I'll keep going. I'm going to go into a bonus extended soon, but I'll do a little more in this part of the reading. Because we're only four minutes in, so... I thought that might be a good place to stop it and go into the extra details, but why not? We'll, we'll pull some more. What else do we need to know about what's coming in for Taurus or the person watching? Whoever's watching, what is coming in for them? Let me know um, in the comment section if this resonates with you. What are you, what are you, do you have a business? Do you know what this is coming in or is this just... It's possible it doesn't resonate because you don't, you have no idea what's coming in, but um, there is a need for you to be determined here. This is coming in because of your determination. 
because of your hard work, your determination, there's a need for you to concentrate on whatever it is, focus on it, don't get distracted. It's number nine, which means you're coming to the end of a cycle. 10 would be the end. It's like she, this person's working hard here on whatever their craft is. This is also something you're gonna have a revelation. This is gonna help you, or maybe you had a revelation in the past and it led to this, this great idea. And it's like by magic, I feel like the spirits were helping you with this. This particular situation is something that you maybe you finally feel like it's, it's with a group of people where you finally feel like you belong, like finding your tribe. Your vibe attracts your tribe. This is number 41, which breaks down to five. Five is um, changes. We also have 15, which breaks down to six, which is love. So there might be a little love mixed in here. We'll see. Um, but yeah, there's, there's challenges in the background here with these mountains, but, and you had to overcome them, but it's like you belong. This is what you, this is your fate to do whatever this is. You belong in this role. So you need to embrace this role fully. It's number 11, which speaks about manifestation. Embrace whatever this is coming in because you belong in this role. Again, it's having to do with either you're gonna have a revelation and aha moment in the future or you already did and that's why this is coming in. There is a need for you to concentrate on this, focus on it. There's books here so you might need to study about it, but just stay determined because you are gonna have a change for the better. You are gonna have financial gain coming in from this. And it's gonna maybe allow you to have a new home or to take a vacation, things you maybe wanted to do. You're gonna get this news of a new business opportunity. I believe it's a business opportunity, not a birth or birthing of an idea or something. I don't think it's literally a baby but there is a need for you as you go through this to check your ego. Don't, don't get too, you know, too much in your ego. Yes, you belong in here. And yes, it's gonna bring you, you know, great changes, you're transforming, but don't get caught in your ego. I see spiritual love, so this might be something that is on a spiritual path, giving spiritual love to people, it says, says get back to basics but I thought it said something else I thought it said give back to get back so maybe that's the actual message is whatever popped in my head that's how my stuff works you giving to get back what else spirits actually I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here and we're going to go into a bonus reading and extended where we find out what's going to happen with this situation in the next six months to a year or sooner. And we're just going to pull a lot more cards and find out a lot more good information about what this is, what you need to know, maybe get some law of attraction cards to find out how you can bring this in quicker or smoother. Because obviously there's obstacles to overcome here. So if you want to watch the extended, go down to the description box below, click that link, it'll take you over. If you want a personal reading, there's also a link to my website down below. It's www.bossasswitch1111.com. It's four ones. Only place you can pay me for a reading. So if you want a reading, go check out my offerings over there. As I said before, if you haven't already, leave me a comment down below to let me know if this resonates with you. Do you know of a new business opportunity? Do you feel it in your gut? Click the like button, share the, the video if you can, and also definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I put out my next video. And I will see you in the extended. Blessed be.